Okay guys, so today I will show you how to make a cat bed with uh, two skeins of Chanel yarn, actually one and a half. You can use two if you want it to be a little bit uh, taller. So we will start with the uh, gray one first. And I will be making the base the same way I was showing you before. So we are making a loop, sorry, like that. The walking yarn is on the top. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn and pull it out. This is your first uh, stitch a loop and you can make it bigger or smaller, uh, pulling the yarn like that. We'll keep it this way, it's about an inch and a half. So this is your first stitch. And now we will make a chain of three stitches. Insert your hand inside, grab walking yarn, pull it out. Insert your hand inside, grab walking yarn, pull it out. You have three stitches. Now insert your fingers inside this last stitch and then inside the first stitch. This way your fingers are inside two stitches. Grab walking yarn and pull it out. Leave it here, leave your fingers here. Insert your hand the same hole. Grab walking yarn, pull it out. You have two stitches. Grab walking yarn and pull it through two stitches. You have two uh, stitches now. It's called a single crochet and I call it stitch or uh, actually we're doing hand crocheting so this is a single crochet. So we're doing six single crochet in the same uh, stitch. Insert your fingers, grab walking yarn, pull it out. You have two. Insert your fingers, uh, grab walking yarn, pull it out. Keep doing it this way until you have six stitches this was five and now we have six let me move this here from over here so here we have six stitches one two three four five six now second row we will be uh, doing two a single crochet and uh, the same uh, stitch and to mark where we are that we would know where our row is we'll be using this this clip so we would know where our row starts so when searching the uh your hand your hands are still here inside insert inside grab walking yarn pull it out you have two and pull walking yarns through single crochet and then use the same hole we will be using the back of the stitch this is a stitch we're using the back not underneath the whole stitch and we are making two stitches in the same uh, two single crochet in the same stitch so this is our stitch we're using back of the stitch insert your hand grab walking yarn pull it out and then do the same thing and pull it through two the same hole make a single crochet now we had you remember we had six single crochets or six stitches now we are making a single crochet two single crochet in every stitch and this way we will have 12 stitches when we reach the clip we're increasing our base we're now working on the base the base will be about uh, between 16 and 18 inches so this is our first row after the uh, initial one that's how it looks and we're using the same clip to mark uh, second row. Now we're starting third row. The third row we're again we're using the back stitch and we are doing one single crochet and one stitch and then the next stitch 
we will be doing two single crochet in the same one so alternating one single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochet in the next one this way you will be keep increasing the stitches but not as many as the second row so this is one and now we will make two and again one and again two and the last one will be just one single crochet and we reached our marker so here how it looks like this is our base take the mark put it on the last stitch next row we will be making two single crochet and two stitches and then two single crochet and the same stitch so two one two one two single crochet and two stitches two single crochet and the same so two single crochet and two next stitches and then third one we will be doing two single crochet and the same one so it will be two one this way we are gradually increasing the size of our base and it depends how big your cat is but it should be at least 16 inches uh, the base should be 16 inches because even medium sized cat uh, they need some space to feel comfortable inside this uh, super soft and beautiful cat bed so here we are let's measure so our cat base is 15 almost 16 inches so let's try to make one more row because we are trying to make it a little bit bigger than 15. so if you remember we were making two single crochet and two stitches and then two single crochet in this third one and the same one so now we will be making uh three single crochet and three stitches and number four stitch we will be making two and we probably will not have enough yarn uh, to go through the whole circle that's okay so we'll be just using as much yarn as we have here so it's three and the fourth one uh, we will do the uh, just one because we are done with this yarn so this is our base let's measure it it's uh, almost 17 inches it's 17 inches so that will be perfect for a medium size cat so now we will be connecting the other color connecting uh, the other color is done this way you just uh, attach uh, making a simple knot It's two different colors make sure that the knot is really really tight and when you make sure that it's tight you cut the yarn close to the knot don't worry about cutting too close because if you made the knot pretty tight it will not go anywhere and cutting it close to the knot will actually keep it from unraveling so now when we connected our uh, other color we will start working on 
walls. To make the wall, we will be using the whole stitch and go underneath. We will not be using the back side of the stitch, we will be using the whole stitch. This way the wall is formed. So insert your finger underneath this next stitch, pull out the uh, working yarn to make two on your uh, hand and then pull working yarn through. And when we're making walls, we are not uh, making single crochets uh, in the same stitch. We're just going all the way around using one stitch for one single crochet. So this is our way of making walls. If you see that the wall is started forming already because we are using the whole stitch and we're going underneath. I really like to combine colors. I don't know how about uh, other people but I believe that it looks really beautiful when you're connecting some colors like this uh, light gray I think goes really beautiful with uh, white color and this is actually my leftovers so cat bed is perfect uh, to make from some leftovers and especially chanel yarn is perfect because it's so soft your cat will just love it okay so we're getting to the part where we started our white wall and then we will be just continuing until we have used all white yarn so just the same way you're using the whole stitch going underneath not the back grab working yarn pull it out have two and pull it through keep going until you go through all yarn and then i come back and i will show you how to finish your cat bed okay we're almost done with our cat bed if you want it to be a little bit sturdier, the walls, uh, try to crochet it uh, really tight. Because I am crocheting pretty loose, so and because uh, Chanel yarn is pretty soft yarn, it will be pretty uh, soft walls. And uh, you shouldn't worry about it. Cats love soft walls. They will uh, crawl inside and they will love it. So here we are at the very end. So as I suggested, you always need to make a knot on the end of every end for Chanel yarn because it has a tendency to unravel. Make a knot very tight and then cut it, cut the tail close to the knot. Uh, now the last stitch, the last single crochet. You have a tail, it goes through the last stitch and then pull it out. You just finish your cat bed and then hide this tail uh, underneath the next chain like that. See, you will not see much. And then this one just tuck in like that. So now you can keep the cat bed this way. It looks beautiful. The cat will love it. Uh, what I usually do, I turn it inside out. And the reason why, because this way it will be taller and the walls will look much more beautiful like that see so here we have a tail you can see that I made the knot on the uh, end of it I cut it and now you just hide this tail in between of this stitches anywhere you want because this yarn is very fluffy you will like a caterpillar you will not really see 
where it's hidden. So here's your cat bed. Look how beautiful it looks. On the side, this is the top view. This is the bottom view. Your cat will be really, really happy. So you can buy this uh, Chanel yarn uh, at becausey.net. It's on sale now. So head out to becausey.net and stay warm and be cozy. Thank you.